tonight, it'll be the Detroit Pistons going up against the Toronto Raptors out at Scotiabank Arena. For Toronto, it'll be interesting to see where they take the game plan tonight. Offensively, do they rely on one or two guys to carry the load, or do they spread the wealth? We'll see. Man, we are in for a treat. Two incredible front courts in this one, Shaq. Talented and highly skilled. Yeah. And a look from earlier as the Pistons come off the bus. Dressed for success coming into this tough contest tonight on the road. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. The bustling financial district here in Canada's largest city. We're coming to you from Toronto. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, reporting from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Well, the Toronto Raptors rolled the dice last season and gambled on acquiring Kawhi Leonard. They knew it could be just a one-year rental, with Leonard able to be a free agent in 2019. But Kevin, after winning the 2019 NBA title, anything else is gravy. The first title in franchise history, D.A., is such a huge moment for the team, the city, and the country of Canada. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Reggie Jackson out there with Rose. And it's Brown in at the small forward. And for Toronto, Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. And Van Vliet out there with Lowry. And it's Powell in at the three spot. We've got a terrific front court matchup tonight. Chris, you were the prototypical four when you played. Who was the toughest power forward uh, you had to defend? Kev, I'm going to give you the same answer I always have. When I was in the West Coast, any given week, this is who I had to guard in a week's time. Uh, Tim Duncan, uh, Garnett, Nowitzki, uh, wow. Rasheed Wallace, oh, uh, Robert Ory, uh, it's Carl Malone. Uh, that was all in the West Coast, and I think I played in, in the golden era of power forwards, and so I would just say, put all their names in a hat, pick one out, and, and that's who was the toughest, because it was like that every night. All of Famers, including yourself. Now here's Gasol. Van Vliet kicks to Gasol. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Terrific off the catch. I mean, Gasol right into the shooting. Jackson with the bounce pass. Here's Griffin. Back to Jackson. Over Lowry. And the basket by Jackson. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. Now here is Lowry. The pass to Gasol. to the paint. Here's Powell, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. It's his first trip to the line. Really a, a good season for him overall last year when you look at the number, 83% from the line. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Well, the Raptors' Nick Nurse winning an NBA title in his first season. Greg is an NBA head coach. The first time a head coach who'd also helmed a team in a foreign league has won it. Nurse often reminisces fondly on those days coaching in Europe. And this summer, he was entrusted with coaching the Canadian national team at the FIBA World Cup. Well, last season was a successful one for the Pistons. I mean, they made the playoffs as an eight seed. They were counted out at times, but had a strong second half to make it back to the postseason. Now, here's Rose. Lock at six. Over Siakam. Drummond passes to Griffin. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. Oh, no, no. The work Griffin puts in the weight room pays off again. He takes the contact and muscles it into the buck. 
And Chris with the Pistons. An incredible run during February made the difference last season for them. Yeah, well, the offense had been their weak spot, but it was clicking during that stretch. I mean, this team needs to find a way to play like that all season long. They've showed some flashes of greatness. Now it's just about continuing to improve. And stolen by Siakam. Last break. Here come the Raptors. And there's the lay-in. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Pass to Drummond. Inside. And Griffin scores. The assist by Drummond. And you see the work Drummond has put in the pass and the ball. Solid is spotting the open man. Lowry finds Powell. Griffin against Siakam. He gets it in there. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Jackson. To the middle. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Pull up Jay. And no good. One second left. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Toronto ahead, leading by just one. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. Andre Drummond says he's learned how to be a leader on this team. Watching previous guys who've led this team and did the things that they did, I write that kind of stuff in the back of my head and just say, you know, this is something I need to do this. Or if I see something I didn't like, you know, this is something I probably will stay away from. And I think now that I'm in a role where I could kind of lead this team, I kind of have the blueprint on what I need to do to make this team successful. And, you know, Greg, with Blake Griffin, he's got somebody to take some of that leadership role alongside him. And those two will be pivotal in deciding just how good this team can be. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen so far from the Raptors guys, your thoughts? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disruptive. Yeah, G.A., great balance of efficiency and intensity, which is why they hold the early lead. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for the Pistons, they've got Kennard. Doomboya is out there with Markeith Morris. Then there's Frazier. And it's Galloway in a two-guard. Now here's Frazier. Pass to Galloway. Just five to shoot. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Shot's good by Kennard. Chris at that free throw line. Uh, there's a lot of chirping, isn't there? Uh, among the players around the lane. <laughs> it just seems like their mouths are always moving. A lot of chirping. Oh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for the ones that are sucking air and, yeah, and are tired, yeah, they're talking to each other. It's the only real break in action, and that's time, too, you get to see what has happened a few of the plays before, so you get to bust the guy up with some jokes or just flat out uh, talking trash. And sometimes guys are saying, uh, I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the guys are going, man, listen, I'm so tired. He's going to make this free throw. Don't don't, don't push me too hard on this. I got to give rest for a couple seconds. They, they say that, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially to the guys. I, I remember saying that to Ben Wallace one time. He was my rookie, and I was like, listen, man, you know Legs is going to make this free throw, man. Don't, don't, come on, don't push me all the way into the basket. You'd have a good What was the right response? Uh, he pushed me into the basket. <laughs> okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Kyle Lowry is hard-nosed, as we all know, and if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry said, a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. You gotta be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. And Kevin, that's what made him. From Philly to Villanova to Toronto to an NBA champion. I don't know about running into the metal pole, but that sounds, <laughs> that sounds painful. But he's certainly as tough as he can be. David, thank you. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half of the game. And I just love the skill set that Markeith Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward. 
for this team. Can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. And the Pistons with possession here. Following the miss by Kyle Lowry from deep. There's 117 left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Dumboya, and it's blocked. Here's McCall. And the Raptors miss again. And so Galloway with it. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Stolen away. Here's McCaw. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is, Greg. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. Well, after a promising rookie season, it was, it was tough for second-year guard Luke Kennard. I mean, injuries had him in and out of the lineup as his development was slow. He's getting his first free-throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good, and Toronto will go for a different look here. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Ibaka. Pascal Siakam comes in for OG Ananobi. Powell, he's checked in for Rondé Hollis-Jefferson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. Detroit also making some changes. Drummond's checked in for Morris. Blake Griffin comes in for Langston Galloway. And it's Jackson in for Frazier. Both shots good from the stripe. His free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Back to Van Vliet. Passes it to McCaw. Raptors moving the ball around. Here's Gasol. Siakam trying to free himself up. Gasol's shot is good. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Drummond's got the lead up to one now for the Pistons. Oh, and when there's an open man, Jackson finds him, making it look very easy. There's the pass to Gasol. Over Drummond. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Pistons lead by one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing. Thanks very much. Coach, it's early in the season, so what can you say about how things are going chemistry-wise so far? I love our guys. We have a great group of young men that are competing hard, and uh, it feels good because I know our guys are totally engaged and focused and giving us what they have. Dwayne, thanks a lot. Back to you. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They had a slight edge on the scoreboard in the second quarter, but only by the slimmest of margins. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? Well, their shooting accuracy was on point. It was good play calling, of course, by the coaching staff, but it was great execution by the team. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Their defense has been practically non-existent. Sure, they're facing a team that got hot. You could even say a bit lucky at times, but no one is stepping up on D and taking anything away. Have some pride. Don't let a guy shoot like that in your face. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You played for a lot of different coaches in your career, Chris. 
I'm sure you saw characteristics that you like in a head coach with all the different people you played for. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you definitely want coaches that challenge you, that, that want to make you better, um, that helps with the team chemistry. But, but I would say, number one, you want a coach that understands they are such a good coach that their job is to infuse you with as much information during practice and then come game time, they trust you to go out and do your thing. They don't micromanage during the big games. They say, wait a minute, we put in enough practice time, you know what we should do, now go out there and execute. The ones that trust you, you gotta love. Right. Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Fred Van Vliet out there with Lowry, and it's Powell in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Dwayne Casey was the 2018 Coach of the Year, but as we all know, he was fired after that same season by the Raptors. The case has found a home in Detroit. Casey said, I have no regrets. Winston Churchill said, success consists of going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. And that's what I've done. So, Kevin, Dwayne Casey is still pounding the rock. He sure is, and I like that Churchill quote as well. Thanks, David. And some changes here for the Raptors. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. Hollis Jefferson subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And Detroit with a change here, too. Galloway's checked in. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Van Vliet. It's Hollis Jefferson, top of the key. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And Detroit gets called for the foul. And the Toronto Raptors knew in trading for Kawhi Leonard that he might not stick around. Even after his decision returned to his hometown of Los Angeles, Greg, the Raptors have to feel good about the way it all worked out for him. Kevin, the first championship in franchise history, and now they set about working their way back to the mountaintop. Some talented young players and quality vets, not to mention an outstanding front office. I think it'd be a mistake to count them out. And a major strength of this Pistons team in recent years has been their rebounding. The whole team contributes, but a big part of that is drumming. I mean, has only been emphasized more uh, since Dwayne Casey has come in. A very tough team to deal with on the glass. No good on the second free throw. And a coach that players love is Dwayne Casey. Very vet-friendly, sticks up for his guys in every post-game interview. Uh, yeah, Casey is very measured in his approach. He can be a bit slow to change at times, but his players appreciate the consistency. Playing him tough inside and preventing the layup, that'll get the whole team pumped up. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there, down low. Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. Yeah, just the length and explosiveness. Ibaka is a true force at the rim. Rose passes to Drummond. He kicks to Brown. Trying to get something going. Another shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Love watching Griffin play the game. I mean, he has a lot of confidence in his abilities. He's terrific at staying aggressive. The Pistons have gone two for two in the game at the line. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And guys, one thing that has been interesting to see since Blake Griffin came to Detroit is how he's developed as a leader. It has come into his own with how he takes responsibility for the team's play. And the Raptors making a change here. McCaw's checked in. And then for Detroit, Dumboya comes in for Brown. And it's Kennard in for Derrick Rose. And so Ibaka will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Back to Van Vliet. 26 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Ibaka. It's Drummond with the rebound. For Detroit, they've gone 0-4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. 
Dumboya passes to Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. I love whenever Griffin finishes with power. I mean, he's showing he's not to be messed with close to the basket. Now here's Van Vliet out left to the wing. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Ibaka. It's all tied in Toronto. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Pistons shooting well, 50% from the floor. And on the floor for Detroit here in the fourth. Jackson and Kennard pair up at the one and the two. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. And it's Dumboya in at the three seat. Well, you can't be too physical with Griffin. I mean, he's adept at knowing how to get these type of calls. Shooting two. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Both free throws good from Griffin. Raptors shooting well. 50% from the floor. Lowry against Jackson. And it's sent back by Drummond. Oh, he knows he has to be their defensive anchor. I mean, when Drummond hustles on this end, he can get these blocks. Tomboya can't get it to go. And they get the rebound. But, guys, that's been the issue throughout the game. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Jackson finds Griffin. Oh, and he jams it right over Pascal Siakam. Wow! An artist in the air. I mean, the elevation, the hang time, the strength of Griffin. It's amazing. Lowry feeling it out a bit. And it's sent back by Drummond. Poked away. And here's the fast break. Siakam leading the way. Kicks to Lowry. 139 left to play here in the fourth. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. And the Raptors miss again. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. Doom boy, how good. Amazing awareness. He's committed to keeping his eyes up and teammates involved. That, that, that's the type of player Griffin is. Toronto calls timeout. They're behind by seven. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Blake Griffin. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself, 
But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you, David. When you need a big bucket, Gasol is there, and, and as dependable as they come. To the inside, here's Griffin. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Griffin's got the lead up to seven now for the Pistons. But they've got this lead because he's at the top of his game. He has been the story tonight. And it's Lowry penetrating. It's good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. A, a veteran guard with a knack for penetrating defenses. Lowry can pretty much get any shot he wants. Here's Drummond. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. Three-pointer, Lowry. It's Drummond with the rebound. And so they foul intentionally. That's his first personal foul. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his second He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though, and he does get the second one. And that increases their lead to six. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by six. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside for Gasol. And the Raptors miss again. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. Just trying to force something is rarely a good idea. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. And it would take divine intervention for them now to get back in it. Yeah, I'd have to say, guys, I don't think the man upstairs is really focused on a comeback. Offensive rebound. And here's Miller outside. Knocks down the three. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Griffin looking it over. And so the Pistons take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just 